Let's look at a couple of little more examples. Now what we're trying to do is we're actually going to try to find uh, the power of a quotient. So as you can see, it's a little bit different because we do have some fractions. So let's see if we can't simplify these. Uh, one thing you need to ask yourself uh, when you're starting to do math is be a little critical. And what do we not like about this? Okay, I know this is not the right answer, and the reason is, is because I have like bases. So I know I need to combine those like bases into just one base. I also know that if I have a fraction, I need to simplify the fraction, and one thing I can't have is negative exponents. So since the negative exponent only applies to this y, I'm just going to take this y and move it up here. Uh, the coefficients I can go ahead and simplify, so I'll say 5 will go in itself once. We'll go into negative 35, negative 7 times. So when I do this, I'll get negative 7, x squared, y to the 4th, and now times y to the 8th. Uh, dx to the 6th is going to remain down here. So that's what happened. I simplified my coefficients by dividing them by, by both by the same number, and I moved that y up to the top to change its sign. Notice the coefficient of the y doesn't change. It's still going to be positive. The base doesn't change at all. And then now I still have like bases. So I've got a cup written of I've got rid of a couple things, the negative exponent, simplify my fraction, but I do have like bases. I have two x's up here and six down here. If I take two x's away from the top, I'm left with none. If I take two x's away from the bottom, I'm left with four. I've got like bases up here, uh, the four, the y's. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna multiply those like bases together, and I'll do that by adding the exponents. So I'll get x to the fourth. So negative seven y to the twelfth over x to the fourth. In our next example down here, uh, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to simplify this radical. I mean, not radical, but uh, quotient. So we do have a negative exponent. To get rid of that negative exponent, since it applies to the whole fraction, I'm just going to take the reciprocal of the fraction. What that means is I flip the fraction upside down, and that's going to change the sign of the exponent. Now, if you wanted to get into a great habit, go ahead and take your base and write it three times. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything together. I can simplify this if I had a common factor between a numerator and denominator in either fraction. But as you can see, there is no common factor, so I'm going to multiply my numerators together. y times y times y is y to the third. Uh, in the denominator, 4 times 4 times 4 is going to give me 64. And then x squared times x squared times x squared. The base does not change. We will add the exponents together. So we get x to the 6th. So y to the 3rd over 64, x to the 6th.